Hello, hello, good people. Hello. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. It's actually my aunt's birthday today, Aunt Ella. Happy birthday again, and my sister's birthday, Thelma. Happy birthday to all those who are having birthdays today. Okay, so I noticed that um, over the last few weeks, it just looks like I have been living in a world of, um, or seeing, like watching a bad movie, watching a real bad movie live and in color. People that are in leadership positions, they have been given the platform, the privilege of being in positions of authority, and they are being, they are serving as roadblocks to progress. And I mean, something else happened today, and it just made me start thinking back over the last several weeks about um, just how much I've seen of this. And so I want to talk about roadblocks. And, and again, this is for those who are in positions of leadership, positions of authority. If you are sort of low man on the totem pole in the hierarchy of um, authority or in the hierarchy of your organization, it's sort of hard to be a roadblock because you got to do what you need to do. Um, so let me, let me share with you three types of roadblocks that I am hopeful you are not in the position of operating like this. Um, okay, so, so the first one that I saw, you're the keeper of the knowledge. You have the information that people need and they have to come through you to get it. And so this, actually this happened to me um, a few weeks ago. I needed the information I'm, I'm calling, trying to get all the pieces of information I need. Turns out I needed five items. Why are you telling me two? And so I'm running down there wasting my time and energy and gas, gathering everything that I've been told that I need. I get down to you and say, okay, can you help me out? I've got what you need. Oh, you only have A and B. You need to go back and get C. You didn't tell me I needed C. Now, I got enough sense not to, like, go off on somebody because... They have what I need. I can't go anywhere else to get it. So, okay, so I'm going to run back and get C. Come back a couple of days later, I got A, B, and C. Where is D? I told you you need A, B, C, and D. Okay, blood pressure rising, hot as a firecracker, but there's no one else to go around to. I can't go around this obstacle who is creating red tape for me. Um, okay, go away, come back when you have A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, and then finally, I come back with everything and all the, all the paperwork that is needed to get what I needed. Here's my point. If you know already that you are the keeper of the knowledge and you know everything that is needed, please do not pick and choose whom you choose to help. And the rest for whatever fancy reason that tickles you, you send them back and forth and around the robin and over the mountain and under the creek to get the pieces of information. If you are the keeper of knowledge and in a leadership position, do not serve as a roadblock where you create red tape. Okay. Um, another example that I, I, I'm just seeing it. It, it just... I'm like, what in the world is going on that all this is happening around me? Um, when you are in a position to authorize something and you know from the very beginning that you are going to deny the request, don't wait until the time has been ticking so long that now the person no longer has time for a plan B. I've, I've seen that like live and in color here recently. You knew they weren't qualified. And rather than tell them from the beginning, you just 
strung them along, made them wait. The clock is ticking, so they really can't go on to plan B. You, you're making them run out of time. They won't even be able to apply for the next semester. Okay, so if you know all along that you're going to deny something or refuse something, don't drag it out. You're creating, you're creating heart palpitations and discontent for the person. And you have the authority to do that. You're doing it only because you can. You're serving as a stumbling block simply because you can, because of the position you're in, because of the authority that you wield. And lastly, I, um, there was a, an employee who needed something done and literally a manager berated, degraded, and cursed out an employee. She had made a mistake, no doubt. Degraded her disrespected her, berated her, called her out of her name, and literally cursed her out while the supervisor was less than three feet away. And the employees looking to the supervisor like, can you help me? Can you step in? I mean, yes, I was wrong, but can you help me? She didn't open her mouth. Okay. And then we wonder why the morale is low, the turnover rate is high, the excessive sick leave, because when we have positions, when we have people in positions who do not take the role and the responsibility of leadership seriously, this is the kind of nonsense we end up getting. Okay. And, and for you to see and know and hear what is going on without doing anything about it, you create an, um, an infestation is what it is. It's called a workplace, but it is an infestation of hostility and anger and retribution and, again, high turnover, low morale, sick leave. Okay, we have responsibilities when we are given leadership position, we, when we have worked our way up. It's got to be more than because I can. Hey, Ebony. Okay, we've got to do better than that. So my, my challenge to you is to ask, look around. When you see things happening, when you are making them happen, when you are becoming the roadblock, get out of the way. If you are in a position to move a roadblock out of the way, you've got to have the courage to stand up and do that. And I said courage because that's what it takes. It, is, it puts you in an uncomfortable position sometimes to move roadblocks out of the way. But the whole organization is dependent upon you. Okay. Um, I hope and trust that that is not your reality. Uh, what I've described is just maybe something to look out for, but I'm, I'm prayerful that you're not living that. If you are, you've got to do whatever it takes to create a better environment in that organization or that company or that church or that family. Okay. Until next time, take real good care for yourselves and please do not, do not be the roadblock.